Hey guys, I just wanted to um, quickly walk you through um, a really fast wireframe since that's what this unit is covering and also because we're going to be using Figma as one of the tools now. Um, Adobe XD was a tool we used to use but we're no longer using it. You can also use any other tools, paper and pen, paper and pencil, balsamic, Envision, all that is fine, whatever you want to use. But uh, Figma is a design standard in the industry and um, it's used like everywhere. So if you get a job pretty much anywhere, that's like one of the main tools that's going to be used. You can get pro level access features. I mean, there's a free version, but you can get the pro version for free as a student. So I definitely sign up for that. Um, now, if you go to Figma's website, so if you go down to the user experience design section here, there's a tutorial, four parts. They're really short YouTube videos. Um, just click on that and you should see that um, this page, Figma for Beginners tutorial. And if you just look at, you know, go through these four things and it'll give you like a complete overview. But I'm just gonna jump here into the first video really quick. I'm gonna look at it on YouTube. And I'm not gonna play the whole video. I just wanna like give you an overview. Like it takes you right from the beginning. It shows you like what you can do with Figma. So this is like mockups for a mobile app um, and different things and they show you what you can do with it and they walk you through like how to get started. So here's a wireframe, which is what you need to build for this, um, for this unit. Um, and so they show you how to pick all this stuff out. So I'm just going to do this really, really fast in Figma. So let me jump into Figma right here. And here I have a completed one, but I'm just going to show you how to do this. So in Figma, let me, let me go home. You can make a new, um, you can make a new document or you can make what's called a new, um, you can make a new design file or a new fig jam file. So fig jams are more for like um, quick thinking and like a collaboration and um, prototyping really fast, uh, but they're really useful and they work well. So I'm just gonna make a new fig jam file and you can use this to do the homework. So let me just do it really quick. So in fig jam, you can actually choose a template. So it's not cheating. You can use a template and build from that. So there's like flow charts, brainstorms, plans. This is, you can do a lot of things with Figma to design uh, and sketch out ideas, okay? But you can use templates. So let's choose a template. So this little icon here in the upper left says templates. I'm gonna click on that. And then you can choose different types of wireframes. So I'm gonna search for wireframe. There's so many things you can do, but I'm gonna just search on wireframe. And you see they have one for websites. So I'm gonna do a website wireframe for this example because what you do in this unit, starting this unit and the rest of the semester is actually you come up with a design idea for a business. You come up with a business idea and then you wanna build that out initially as a website and then also as a mobile app. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a website wireframe. So I just click that and it creates this. I'm gonna just skip all this, like it explains how to use it and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna skip all of that. And they give you like all these things you can read, okay? And they tell you how to use, you know, you can create this whole like really useful stuff like to explain like what is your business idea, you know, and just follow the tips, okay? I'm not gonna go through all that right now. I just wanna show you like how to actually create something using this template. So here is an actual like a website wireframe, they have a page created for you and you can click on stuff and drag it around, rearrange it, delete stuff, add new things using all the tools that you'll learn about if you watch those videos. But I just wanna show you really quick some just navigating. So I'm gonna use this initial page they created as a starter point. So I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm gonna hit Command C, cause I'm on a Mac, you could use Control C on Windows to copy it, click somewhere else and paste it. And then I'm just gonna drag this. Um, so I don't wanna drag a piece of it, I wanna drag the whole thing. So I'm gonna click on here and drag it further away. And then I'm gonna click over here again and paste another one. And again, I just want to highlight it and click somewhere on the middle and drag it around. So now all of a sudden, without any effort on my part really, like I haven't done much, I've copy pasted this web page three times and I can, customize it and make it look like whatever business I'm trying to build, the business idea. Um, but I wanna show you 
and this is like where a lot of students mess up or they forget or whatever and don't understand a wireframe for this class when you do a wireframe you don't want to just show the individual pages you want to show the interactions. so for example if this is a page in my website and there's a button something somewhere and I click on this button what does it do does it navigate somewhere you know what what happens when I click on this button so I'm going to show that really quick and it's really really simple if I'm going to just zoom in here click on the button you see this little arrow it's creating for you I don't have to even draw an arrow I can just click on that arrow and drag and say oh when I click on this button it goes to this web page so I drag it over to this web page and it connects to it just it just boom and you can see there's an arrow drawn now I have a wireframe that shows when I click on a button it does the interaction of opening this web page. So I can look at this when I'm grading your assignment and say, oh yeah, I can clearly see when I click on this button, it navigates to this web page. It's, it's like really clear. And how hard was that for me to do just now? Not at all. Let me go here and say, okay, for this web page, if I happen to click on this button, it navigates to this page. And if I click on this button, it navigates also to this web page, okay? And now, if it's getting confusing with these lines crossing and stuff, I can move these web pages around so it's much easier to see. So let me just grab this one page, not the whole thing, and drag this around. Oops, undo that. Okay, that's not quite what I want to do. But anyway, you get the idea. So I can click and drag. Oh, there we go. So I can click and drag. I don't have to select it or anything. Just click on it. And now when I moved it, you can see these arrows move with it. I can drag this one around too. So I can drag this. Anyway, you get the idea. So I've just dragged these three pages around and now it's easier to see where these lines are going without like crossing over each other. Um, so anyway, look at the videos, watch them, go through them, and uh, hopefully this thing with fig jams and the templates especially gives you a head start on building this stuff much easier and not spending a lot of time building everything from scratch. So I hope that helps. Thanks.